Hi, I'm Jason Collins. And in this video, I will give some examples of the difference between naive and sophisticated present biased agents. For the first example, suppose we have a naive and a sophisticated present biased agent, each with beta equals 0 0.95, delta equals 0 0.95, and utility each period of u of xn equals xn. We offer them both the following choice. Would you like $100 next week or $110 in two weeks? We also tell them that we will give them the opportunity to reconsider their decision next week. When the naive agent, present biased agent considers this problem, they simply compare the discounted utility of each payoff from the perspective of today. The discounted utility of the $100 next week is utility u naught of one 100 equals beta delta u of x1 equals beta delta u of 100 equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 times 100 equals 90.25. The discounted utility of the $110 in two weeks is u naught to 110, that equals beta delta squared u of x2, which is beta delta squared u 110, which in turn equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 squared times 110, which equals 94.31. As the utility of the $100 at t equals one is less than the utility of $110 at t equals two, from the point of view of t, t equals zero, the present biased agent will prefer, prefer to receive $110 in two weeks. But this choice does not accord with the naive agent's preferences next week. Next week at t equals one, they will calculate the utility of the $100 as u of one 100 equals u of x one equals u 100 equals 100. The discounted utility of the $110 a week later, so is therefore u of one to 110 equals beta delta u of x two equals beta delta u 110 which equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 times 110, which equals 99.275. Here, as u, u1 1 100 is greater than u1 2 110, so $100 in one week delivers greater discounted utility than $110 delivered in two weeks, um, at week two, from the point of view of week one, uh, the, the present biased agent will prefer to receive $100 immediately. At t equals zero, the naive agent's preference is inconsistent with what it will be next week at t equals one. The, the sophisticated present biased agent will approach this decision differently. They consider it by backward induction. First, they'll look at the choice they, they will face next week and calculate the discounted utility for each option as they will calculate it at that time. That is, they calculate the discounted utility of the $100 at t equals one from the perspective of t equals one. That is u11100 equals u of x1 equals u of $100 equals 100. And they then calculate the discounted utility of the $110 at t equals two from the perspective of t equals one. u12110 equals beta delta u of x2 equals beta delta u110 equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 times 110 equals 99.275. The sophisticated agent sees that they will take, sees that next week they will take the $100. This is the same pair of calculations that the naive agent made at t equals one. The difference is that the sophisticated agent makes this calculation at t equals zero from the perspective of t equals one. The naive agent does not consider this perspective until t equals one. After considering their preference at t equals one, the sophisticated agent then considers their choice at t equals zero. They see their future decision at t equals one and know that $110 in two weeks is not available to them. The only option that they, ha that they have to choose is $100 in one week. They effectively accept their future present bias now and choose the $110 in two, $100 in two weeks. In this example, being naive or sophisticated does not change their final choice. It only changes their beliefs about their final decision over time. The sophisticated agent knows at t equals zero what they will do at t equals one. 
The naive agent is unaware that at t equals one, they will make a decision inconsistent with their choice at t equals zero. We can summarize the decisions at each time as follows in this table. For the second example, suppose we have a naive and a sophisticated present biased agent, each with beta equals 0 0.5 and delta equals one. They are present biased, but beyond that present bias, demonstrate no impatience. We offer them the following choice. An okay movie today, t equals zero, that gives utility of six. A good movie next week, t equals one, that gives utility of 10. A great movie in two weeks, t equals two, that gives utility of 16. We also tell the agents that next week they will be offered an opportunity to change their mind. First, we consider the naive agent. They calculate utility from the perspective of today. Utility at time zero from watching the okay movie at time zero today equals the utility of the okay movie, which equals six. Utility from the perspective of today of watching the good movie next week equals beta delta utility of good equals 0.5 times one times 10 equals five. The utility from the perspective of today of watching the great movie in two weeks equals beta delta squared for the two periods of delay, the utility of the great movie, which equals 0.5 times one squared times 16, which equals eight. As the utility of the great movie in two weeks is greater than the util discounted utility of the okay movie today, which is greater than the discounted utility of the good movie next week, the naive agent will choose the great movie in two weeks. But what happens when the naive agent is given the chance to change their mind after one week? At that time, the utility of the good movie at today equals utility of the good movie, which equals 10. The utility of the great movie next week equals beta delta utility of the great movie equals 0.5 times one times 16, which equals eight. As the utility of the good movie today is greater than the utility of the great movie next week, the sophisticated agent can, the, na sorry, the naive agent will change their mind and watch the good movie immediately. What if our, what if our sophisticated agent? They will make the their decision today based on correct beliefs about their future preferences. To do this, they solve by backward induction. First, what will their decision be next week? Next week, the utility of watching the good movie today, so the utility of watching the good movie next week from the perspective of next week, equals simply the utility of the good movie, which equals 10. The discounted utility of watching the great movie in week two from the perspective of week one equals beta delta, single application of delta for only one week of delay times the utility of the great movie equals 0.5 times one times 16, which equals eight. As the utility of the good movie today from the perspective of week one is greater than the utility of the great movie in a, a week later, also from that perspective of week one, the sophisticated agent can see that they will choose the watch to watch the good movie immediately. Knowing this is the case, the sophisticated agent now decides whether they prefer the okay movie today or the good movie next week. The utility of the okay movie today equals the utility of the okay movie, which equals six. The utility of the good movie next week equals beta delta times utility of good equals 0.5 times one times 10, which equals five. As the utility of the okay movie today is greater than the utility of the good movie next week, the sophisticated pre agent prefers the okay movie today. From today's perspective, the sophisticated agent would prefer the great movie in two weeks. But as they know they will cave in to their present bias next week and watch the good movie, they make today's decision on that basis. They know that, that if they select the great movie today, they, they won't watch it. For the third example, a naive present biased agent has failed to return their library books and is fined at t equals zero. They can select one of the following payment schemes. They can pay $10 today, $15 at t equals one, or $25 at t equals two. They're free to change the scheme over time as they see fit. The agent's utility is linear in money, that is u of xn equals xn, with discount factors beta equals 0.5 and delta equals one. 
The naive agent calculates the utility of each option today. The utility of paying the $10 today equals utility of minus 10, which equals minus 10. The discounted utility of paying $15 next week equals beta delta utility of $15 next week equals 0 0.5 times one times minus 15, which equals minus 7.5. The discounted utility of paying $25 in two weeks equals beta times delta squared for the two week delay times utility of $25, that should be minus $25, equals 0 0.5 times one squared times minus 25, which equals minus 12.5. As the utility of paying $15 next week is greater than utility of paying $10 today, which is greater than the utility of paying $25 in two weeks, the naive agent chooses to pay $15 at t equals one. A week passes and the naive agent is now at t equals one, the time when they were planning to pay the fine. The naive agent reconsiders their decision. The utility today at t equals one of paying $15 today is the utility of minus $15 equals minus 15. The utility Today, of paying $25 next week, that is at t equals two, equals beta delta times the utility of minus 25, equals 0 0.5 times one times minus 25, equals minus 12.5. As the utility of paying $25 next week is greater than the utility of paying uh, $15 today, the naive agent changes their decision and further delays their payment. They now choose to pay $25 at t equals two. When they reach t equals two, they have no choice but to pay the $25. A sophisticated present biased agent has also failed to return their library books and has fined at t equals zero. They also can select one of the following payment schemes, $10 today, $15 next week, or $25 in two weeks. They are free to change the scheme over time as they see fit. The sophisticated agent's utility is also linear in money u of xn equals xn with discount factors beta equals 0.5 and delta equals 1. For the sophisticated agent, we start calculating utility from the final period. At t equals 2, they have no choice but to pay the $25. What of t equals 1? The utility of paying $15 today at t equals 1 equals utility of minus 15 equals minus 15. The utility of paying $25 next week, that is at t equals 2 from the view of t equals 1, is beta delta utility of minus 25, which equals 0.5 times one times minus 25, which equals minus 12.5. The sophisticated agent can see that, they, that if they choose at t equals one, they will choose to pay $25 at t equals two. Now we iterate at t equals zero. The sophisticated agent only compares $10 at t equals zero with $25 at t equals two, because they know that at t equals one, they will select $25 at t equals two. They know that if they delay once, they'll delay again and end up paying the largest fine. Hence, they limit their comparison to those outcomes that might occur. The, the discounted utility of paying $10 today is the utility of minus $10 equals minus 10. The discounted utility of paying $25 in two weeks equals beta delta squared on the utility of 20, that should be minus 25, equals 0.5 times one squared times minus 25 equals minus 12.5. As a utility of paying, as the discounted utility of paying $10 today is greater than the discounted utility of paying $25 in two weeks, the sophisticated agent will choose to pay $10 today at t equals zero. In these examples, we have seen two contrasting outcomes for the sophisticated agent. In the movie example, they watched an okay movie today rather than a good movie in one week or a great movie in two because they knew that they would watch the good movie in one week if they delayed to watch the great movie. As a result, they watched an earlier worse movie than the naive agent. In the library fine example, they paid the lowest possible fine as they saw they would further delay paying the fine in the future, leading it to increase even more. The sophisticated agent's behavior arises from two tensions. First, they understand that they will not be able to wait for the optimal time. But second, they are present biased so they prefer benefits today and cost delayed to the future. In combination, these imply a sophisticated agent will generally take action earlier than the naive agent. They can properate, which is doing something now when it would be better to wait.